Hello and welcome back guys. So in this particular session what we'll be doing is that we will be formatting a text, creating a new partition and then mounting it as well. Okay. So without further ado, what I'll do is that I will just run a few commands. Okay. So let's just run LSB, okay. This will basically show us the partitions that we have right so basically we have sta sta1 stb as well right so this is with my sst which is like roughly 250 or something like that and then sta is something like what is it nine one terabyte so if you do that lsblk it will basically list it out okay so you can do lsblk with l as well so that will basically list it out as well and then what else you can do is that you can use df hyphen h that will basically sew it out since i did not put in any space that's why the command did not work so if you see over here we have some devices i mean uh hard drive that has been mounted up right so stb one is also there right so let's have a look at the partitions first of all okay so sudo ftx just don't need sudo because i mean the root right l so you can see different partitions over here the information about it is all over here so if we just have a look at this one over here this is my ssd this is my uh sd which is one terabyte right so we will be changing this one dev slash sta okay so why now what i can do is that i can just do fx list it out but what i want to do is just list out the s dev slash sta only okay so if you see over here so it's got one terabyte and it only has one partition right so if i do the same thing for stv you can see there is two partitions one is for efi for the booting thing and then one is for for boot and all and then one is for linux file system okay so since i'm not going to touch that what i do is i'll just have a look through this one okay so i can just remove what you need to do is just type in ftx and then just type in the partition that you want to change so dev slash what was that st a right sda that's what i want to change so you will be entering into an interactive mode from where you can change the partition now so since i'm inside over here ftx dev slash sda so what i can do is i can just do p so just type in m for help where you will see different uh options that you can use to basically change it okay so the first thing that i would want to do is just print out the partition table which is p so if i just press in p what will happen it will just show me the different partitions that i have in a text which is only one partitions that i have right right now next thing that i want to do is that i want to change the partition so how do i delete this partition is that press the d command okay so if i just press in d what will happen is that it will automatically be deleted okay so if i want to create a new partition it will be n so by default you can put in 128 partition numbers so different partitions right so basically let's just say 50,000. so that is one partition that has been created let's just press in do you want to remove the signature no so let's just press in again and okay let's create new partition so by default it will be two you can press in two as well but you can just press enter okay does not matter so by default it will be this value because since we had created up to 50,000 over here for this first partition so it will start from a bit our number a bit higher than that okay so I can just press in again 50,000 and then it is just to default okay so it just created the whole thing now if I just print it out so I have two partitions now as you can see I have two partitions right now if i press delete so i want to delete the partition by default it will it will basically start from the last partition okay so this two over here is for this 
is denoting this okay so if i just don't press in two as well it will just assume the default is two and then partition two has been deleted so if i do delete again it will delete partition one okay so let's just create our actual partitions so n for new partition <coughs> sorry so by default it's 2048 so i want to basically make it into a half number so i have a number over here that so since this is all in uh bits kilobits kilobytes so basically i don't know the calculation but i do i do have the number over here i just what i did was i just divided this number by two okay so basically now we created a pile uh, partition with 465 gigabits so do you want to remove the signature no i don't want to remove the signature i just want it to be x4 the linear typical linear file system right so again i want to create a new partition so that will be for two by default and then the number will start from a bit higher than this so since 500 gigabits is already used right so the rest of the portion we will create another partition so i will just enter enter because i just don't uh, want to have three different partitions okay i just need two partitions so i just press enter so another partition has been created so now if i do print what will happen i'll have two different partitions okay so that is basically done so if you press q right now if you press q right now what will happen is that it will quit but without saving it so all the hard work that you did with the calculation and everything it will be lost okay so what you need to do is that just write in or just write a w command okay or just use w command so it will basically have uh, altered the partition so now if you do lsb okay, now you will be able to see the two different partitions okay so now it is not mounted over here so if, if it would have been mounted it would have shown the mounted point over here okay so now what i'll do is that now what i'll do is i'll just change a few things again okay So since we've already done the thingy as well so now what we need to do is just change in few different details right so since partition and everything is done so what what i'll do is i'll just make this file system to be you can do that by using mkfs so just changing it to ext4 since it's not mounted right so i will be doing that so since ext4 is the widely used uh, file system right so hyphen t and then you have to do ext4 slash dev and then what was the file system sta1 for the first one okay contains a ext file system it's already ext file system so do you want to continue proceed anyway yes so i'm just doing it again okay so it'll just take a bit of time just don't panic so i'll have to do the same thing for sta2 i just want to confirm it okay that's why i'm just doing it again so since it was already a ext4 so if you see over here okay it's just creating journal okay that's done now if we have a look so i think we should be good let's plk so since uh that's already done since it wants so okay right mm -hmm. okay let's have a look so it was part part right still a part but uh what we need to do is we can mount it as well okay so let's just mount it so i'll just create a files what shall i write what shall i write and just write std1 and then i'll just create another folder here yeah? std hyphen 2 so where shall i mount it is that so now what i can do is to mount this to any file system right so since if you have a look over here so i have like 
all these things over here right so if you go to home over here so i have right uh, downloads blah blah everything else over here so i have created two different folders where i will mount this drive okay after that i can just access it from this folder over here okay so how will i be able to do that is that what you need to do is type in mount command slash dev slash so the drive that i want to mount it is sta1 first of all and then the location okay so location is basically home and then the place and then again thingy i think it's called std something no std1 right std So you have to press uh, the backslash because there is a space over there. I just wanted to ignore it, right? So oh, one is done, right? So just type in enter. After that, it should be mounted. So how you can verify that is that just type in lsplk. Okay? You see, it's mounted over here now. Now everything that you put inside that particular folder, which is basically this folder std. Or whatever the content of that directory you can basically see it says 500 gb volume right so it's mounted over there okay so similarly you can also do the mounting thing for the other one as well let's just do that quickly mount and then the drive name is basically dev sta2 and then after that the location location is home uh, my name and then after that what do i have std and then after that just type in hyphen 2 okay so that's the place that i want to mount and then that's mounting is done right so let's just have a look at look at it so how do i verify that lsblk and now you can see it's mounted over there okay so this is how we mount format create a new partition mount a file system as well uh, verify it right so you can do all sort of operations using this different commands that i have just used okay so I'll definitely put up a link and, and different commands in the uh, description as well. Have a look through it. Uh, I hope you do uh, like fulfill your objective in terms of getting all this text management thing sorted in Linux. So I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.